Hello, this is Mr. Bezia with the show New America, and we have Mrs. Uh, Cindy. Can you tell us, Cindy, why we're here? Sure. I'm Cindy Capeless. I'm the human resource manager for a company called Schlatterbeck and Foss, and we happen to be sitting here today in our lobby in Westbrook, Maine. This company is over 150 years old, started in about 1866 by two gentlemen, last name of Schlatterbeck and Foss, and they made extracts and flavorings, and the company has developed over the years, was originally located in downtown Portland. Uh, in the early 2000s, the Dioli family bought the company, and in about 2015, moved the company to Westbrook to a very modernized manufacturing facility, where we make premium private label sauces, marinades, dressings, things like that. The company was then sold in 2017 to a private equity firm in Chicago called Frontenac. And we're here today because we, like every other employer in this area, always looking for new employees and looking for employees that want to start perhaps a career in food manufacturing. And that's one of the reasons why I was thrilled that you asked me to participate. So how I can find out if I want to apply for the job? What's the, what's the easy way to find a way to... So one of the things we found very helpful is to use local staffing agencies. Certainly we want to be open to any kinds of opportunities that people are looking for, but by using staffing agencies, they're able to try out a number of employers. One of the newest in, uh, staffing agencies we're using is a company called New Mainers Staffing, which is helping that group of potential candidates to come in. One of the things people, can do also is contact me via the phone, uh, stop by our office between 8 and 5, and pick up an application. But the reason that we tend to start employees through a staffing agency is because then we can see if it's a fit for us and for them. Food manufacturing isn't for everyone. So sometimes people want to come in, have a tour, and actually start through a staffing agency and complete their hours with that, with that agency and then be hired on. The reason that that is a positive thing is because that way, if it doesn't work out, then there's no hard feelings on either side. Yeah, it doesn't affect uh, the company, it doesn't affect the agents. That means you're giving the shot for that person. Absolutely. That's good. And good. I think the challenge today is people understanding that work is work and they have to come to work every day on time and that becomes a challenge, and we work with people with regards to that. And hopefully we can help them understand what it means to have a job that's Monday through Friday. We run two shifts right now, a first shift and a second shift. Okay. And so that can sometimes help with people's family life. If they have daycare challenges during the day, they might want a night shift job. Okay. But that's one of the advantages of having two shifts is that we're able to support different kinds of family needs. Family needs, okay. Mm -hmm. So what the other benefit if I became employment here, what I can get according to I get a job, the same other benefit include that or after but when I be hired by the company? When you're hired on to our payroll, okay. we offer health insurance, which the company pays about 70% of that premium. We share the cost of the premium. The okay. employee pays about 30% of it. We offer dental insurance, vision, life insurance, short and long-term disability, and we have a very generous PTO, paid time off package too, in addition to holiday pay. For example, this past week, Monday was a holiday and all of our employees were paid eight hours of holiday pay. We also offer 401k. That's a form of retirement where we match 50 cents on a dollar okay. up to the employee's contribution of 6% to help employees establish a way to save for their retirement. Oh, that's good. That's, that's like a packet I, I look at it. And um, according to that information, we're going to share with a lot of community. I mean, we have African in, in the state of Maine. Mm -hmm. We have Arab people from Iraq. We have Egyptian. We have other people who came. Because America is the mother of the world, I call it. That's my own opinion. I don't mm -hmm. know. I call it the mother of the world. Because if you want to look at anybody in this world, you just came to the United States. Sure. That's the way I look at it. So uh, I'm happy to be in this uh, idea. And what else if somebody already hired by the company and got all these insurers, when we talk about the long term and the short term, 
-hmm. there's any benefits from that? Well, I think one of the things that we're looking for from people is people who want to start out at an entry level job, which our entry level job is typically in our packing department, where they're putting these uh, bottles and jars into a box, putting a box on a pallet, putting the glass onto a conveyor, in hopes that as they progress, they're going to want to move up. We have opportunities in our cook kitchen where someone can be a cook assistant and then advance to a cook, a cook two, a master cook. And of course, with all of those kinds of progressions, their salary goes up too, with the idea being that the more they learn, the more they're able to advance. Okay. So that's one of the things I'm hoping for, for anybody. We all want to make more money. We all want to have a career. But this is a good place to start. And we give performance reviews so that then people can see how they're doing. And that's how they get raises as well. But I'm looking for people who want to advance as well. One of the challenges with people who come to this country, of course, is English not being their primary language. Okay. So I would encourage all of our new Mainers to keep going, to whether it's Portland Adult Ed or some other venue, to allow them to learn English. Basic, according to, to, to make them understanding. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, Because one of the things we want to be able to do, in order to advance, you have to be able to communicate both verbally and written. Okay. So you've got to be able to understand what a label is saying, right. what an ex expiration date, date is. You've got to be able to write instructions down. When you're a food facility, there's strict regulations. You want right. to make sure that the person who's reading something on a piece of paper is exactly what they have done well, and that their penmanship is legible, okay. that they can communicate to the person next to them, and that that's one of the ways they'll grow is by learning to communicate both verbally and written. Good. Uh, I'm happy to be here. And then I'm thinking, too, through what we're talking now. We gotta make sure we reach out to the to the community more to know about you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling just because the tip is gonna be enough, but uh, my personal idea, I will push to to speak about you guys mm -hmm. and engage you with the community. Like uh, you know, a couple of months ago, we were thinking about you're gonna be one of our show is gonna come up. We're gonna go somewhere to eat African food just mm -hmm. to encourage that. Sure. Yeah, and and, and I just wanna make sure. This interview is not going to be the end. We're going to have you engage to other stuff. That's where uh, the, the company became part of the community, where community became part of the company. Mm -hmm. And especially the, the long term you've been here, it's, it's awesome and it's uh, making me impact. For me, I look at like it's my company. I'm a guy who believes anybody who succeeds and opens the door to other, I just feel like I'm part of it. I, I don't know why. Great. That's that's where I think. And does everybody know that you also work here? Uh, nobody <laughs> knows. Yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah, I think I, you should talk about that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, um, the, the funny thing, uh, me and uh, Cindy, since I came to the interview, we became good friends, and, and that's good. And yes. uh, almost I have a plan when I get hired by the company. I want to be here for a long term. And even I know I have a big dream, but one of the things I was talking about, because I had my daughter in Cairo, I want to be able to travel to see how even every six months or even one year. And that's the little challenge for me, but it's still I can work things out. And I'm glad I've been here. Maybe right now it's uh, close to one year. It I'm is. Right, yeah. It is. Yeah, my concern was to show who I am, what I can do. Right. Yeah, because almost I make a joke. I don't like to do story. When I do story, I write books. So I can't <laughs> make a story. So I'm happy to be here. And I'm one of the employment. And today I'm doing an interview with, with her. And I think it's good to know that uh, you started out in the packing department, yep. and now you work in the sanitation department, yep. which is a very important department in the food industry, right. making sure that all of our equipment is properly Correct. cleaned and sanitized. That is part of Anthony's position, which is very, very important, and we're pleased that you're part of that team. Thank you. And then I'm picky too when it came to clean. That's a good thing. So we're, we're doing the best. Mm -hmm. All the, the crews we have, we're doing the best uh, to make sure in the end of the day when we're coming in, we clean everything. And then when the uh, morning shift coming in, they'll be able to get things very clean. 
and they can move on to mm -hmm. the next second shift. Mm -hmm. Most recently, I'm not sure if you and I had talked about this, uh, through the New Manor staffing group, they connected me with Catholic Charities. Okay. And they brought in probably eight or nine people who had never heard of us, of course. Oh, wow. That's met awesome. Met with me in the conference room. We took several supervisors okay. and took small groups and, and t gave them a tour. Tour, sure, that's good. Of the PAC department. And it was great. We actually have a couple people, I think, from that tour that are currently working, working here. here. The challenge with that is because if their English isn't enough, we're looking for level three. Oh, wow. Of course, four and five are better. Right. But we want to make sure that, number one, we're keeping them safe. Okay. And that they're understanding the instructions of the job. Okay. And by having at least that level English, I think that's really helpful. So I think people who have gotten at least to that English level of three and are continuing to work on their English is very important. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking mm -hmm. I'm going to add something to the Welcome Center. To, because we have a lab for the computer, the skilled computer. But I think what you just said is important to get the basic of English, even understanding and talk mm -hmm. of reading the basic. So I will try to, to talk to the team in the Welcome Center. Because right now, with these challenges, a lot of people, they want to have a job, but they have a bearing of the language. Right. Sometimes it's hard to, to deliver what they understand. Hey, good afternoon. Today we are on for New American show today when we have the uh, the shows talking about the friend of us, Damaso, his own company who does to help people to get a job. And we need to see what he does for the people and he will talk about him and he will tell us, since he have this company, how many population he done to help and we're promoting him to get more people. So Damaso, can you tell us about you? Uh, my name is Damas Rugaba. Uh, I live in South Portland. Uh, been here almost 22 years. Uh, done a lot of, worked in different fields, from manufacturing to insurance company to starting a nonprofit to opening new businesses. <coughs> But I think today we're here to talk about the new manner of staffing that's solutions. Uh, that's a staffing agency. So we work with uh, small companies here in the greater Portland area. Uh, we go, we are focused mostly on immigrants. Uh, so work with companies, we get employees and place them with different companies around this. Uh, the, the migration of the, the new manner, that's the new people coming from different background. I mean, that's what you say? Yeah, so we, we cover a variety of, of fields. We have light manufacturing, we have uh, cleaning services, we have uh, home care, direct support professionals. Uh, yeah. What about uh, Cindy, the one uh, you guys help in her, her factory? Yeah, so Cindy, she's the uh, human resources manager. She works with shoulder back and force. Okay. Very great woman. Okay. And very supportive and so we've been working with her, it's been three months now, and we placed 11 employees with her. So, and things are kind of, because of the supply chain issue, mm. so we haven't expanded with her as far as we wanted, but so, but she's been great and. So are you willing to, to do more with her through the, the agents, that's your more interest? Okay, it's all, it's all up to whatever she needs. Right. Uh, so we've said, and she's great at communicating. If she needs somebody, she gives us a call. And our our plan, we 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 are not we don't do it in traditional way where we place ads and something. So we go into the community, we talk to community members, find out who is looking for a job, <clears throat> what kind of job they are looking for, and then we place them. And some of them are really newcomers, so they don't even have transportation. So we do provide transportation 
Oh, that's good. To work and back. And uh, how they, they they know about you guys? Uh, the companies you, or the you employees? Do through the internet, how you do you promoting yourself? Okay, so we have a website. It's okay. www.newmenasstaffing.com. That's one thing. The other we do is uh, through door-to-door -door knocking. We approach businesses. We leave our flyers there. Say, hey, if you ever need some employees, give us a call. That's how we got to Cindy. Or we do it through referrals, like Cindy can refer to somebody else. To another company and then reach out to that company. Yeah. W what about the the bearing language when some people uh, they can't even fill the application? It's your company helping through because I know everything now became online. Sometimes there's a regular form. Yeah. So we have an application online, but those who cannot do it online, they call us so they come in the office and we help them fill out the application. So we have people who speak different languages: French, Swahili. Kinyarwanda, Kirun. So we haven't, we don't have all the languages, but at least we have like five languages. So we help them, and when we place them, like through Sydney, if somebody doesn't speak English very well, okay, because they need to understand, especially due to safety issues and stuff, they need to understand instructions. So we try to place them with an individual who speaks their language, okay, so that they can translate and say, this is what they are talking about. This is how you should do it. So it does mean you can do some kind of orientation uh, to, to make the person understand what the request for the company if they have a problem in the language. So we have a good system with Shlora Beck and Force through Cindy. So when she wants uh, employees, so they come, we fill the application, we help them fill the application, and then we have a tour. So they go there and see what they do. And they explain to them, this is what we do, this is what we require, these are our requirements, this and this. And then the person chooses, oh, I think I can manage this. So that's, this is unique with Shora back and forth. Uh, but that is very helpful because people, when they go there, they understand exactly what the job requires and what they will be asked to do. So what about the nursing home? How you get uh, people involved to be working under a nursing home or uh, those so, houses? Uh, yeah, so we, as I said, we reach out to these companies if they need employees. So we first ask the companies what type of training do you require. Okay. Uh, some of them, the ones that we work with, they require the DSP certification, the CRMA, which is the, medi uh, the training to provide medication, CPR training. Uh, so we look at all the information, the training that they need, so we provide the training. And then uh, working through group home, there's a list of uh, background checks that you okay. have to do. So we do the background checks. Once they pass them, then we send them to this company. So that's when you prepare everything for the employment to make sure he be qualified to any company when you guys like agents. Yes, that's what we do. So if we ask the requirements from the company, what do you need right. exactly? Training wise, uh, background wise, and then we go through all that before we can place. So that means you get the benefits from the company to pay your time and the agents to prepare that. Well, how you get paid, I mean, your, your agents? Okay, we don't get paid for, two. okay, some companies, they prefer to do the training themselves, okay. which is fine, that's less cost to us. Right. But other companies, especially small companies, they want us to give them trained employees, but that's a cost that fall on us. But we try to be uh, flexible depending on, on the company that we're working with. There is anything specific like, because uh, I have a lot of experience through what I've been main here, maybe eight years. When employment came through you guys and he get issue, just say he got hurt in the company. Are you guys still support that employment to see why he get hurt in the company? Or maybe the company ignored them. I mean, if the, the, the person came through your agents, and he get hurt in the company. So the first thing, our agency, we have a worker, workers' compensation insurance. Okay. So that's one thing. But in addition to that, before we place employees uh, to, through a company, so we have this training, the safety training okay. that we take them through. And this safety training are provided by the workers' comp insurance company. Uh, we work through MEMIC. Okay. So we have these videos that we would 
make to all inquiries before they go into work to go through all those safety training. And then we continue communicating with companies and we make sure we tell our, our, the employees that we place into the company, if the company is not taking serious the safety issues, they should report back to us and then we can talk to the companies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because sometimes when people in the United States, especially the new common, and uh, you, you need to have a job, and sometimes you have a problem in the language, and sometimes you're scared of losing your job because you get hurt. So that issue is kind of sensitive, and uh, there's many companies have issue with that, our understanding the new people who come into the state, and even sometimes they don't even go through what they're understanding, but it's happening. No, the first thing we, we t tell them about their rights. Okay. They shouldn't make you do something that you're not comfortable with. Okay. And that's not going to cost you your job. Okay. If it's something, so when we place them, we know exactly what they will be doing. Okay. If they, and in our contract, it's well, it's well written that our employees that we place there, they have to work within the, 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 the Zoom of no, no, the if, policy? If they say the job will be this and this, right. that's what they have to do. If they have to make them work something else, abs something else they have to go through us. Oh, they, they have to go back to you yeah, guys. They have to go back to us and say, hey, we want to change this employee to do this different type of job. But they have to go through us. They cannot change the employment the assignment according to them to, yeah. by what they sign the contract. Oh, right. that's a good point to know. Because yeah. really, I've been listing a lot of stuff, but I don't want to call a different name of the company. But if your agents be doing this, it will help us even not just in the level of the TV, what we're doing here to promote you. We're going to direct them really to you because really we got a lot of people who go to friend of mine or through my other stuff. I'm, I'm just like you. I do a lot of stuff. I do African United. I do Project Vizier. So I get some different issue. But we all serve the same community. Right. For me, I look at it, if you have your own agents, I have my own agents or other agents. But I look at it, we're all doing the same service. But for this three months ago, does complaint happen a lot? And especially people who was really working under Abbott Company. And, and the way the agents treat them, and even I was one of the people who worked there, and I see some stuff, it was not really in uh, purpose of company to treat people like that. And, right. and one of the things I found out when I was there because the bearing of the language sometimes. Okay, I'm not familiar with their work practice, but uh, I, with us, we, what's, what's special with us is we've been through that. So I've went through the same process that the newcomers are going through, so I understand it better. I understand the most of of newcomers or new Americans, they don't understand their rights because they are coming from different uh, background countries that have been oppressing them for, for generations and they don't understand it. So here when they come and say, you have the right to do this, you have the right to do this, you have the right to say no, you have, and if you have any questions, please come back to come us. Come back to us and tell us that this is happening and I don't think it's right. And I'm not going to mention names, but we've had companies that we started. Uh, when we started, and then <coughs> they didn't respect the terms of our contract. They started changing our employees, putting them in different work. Then we had to pull all our employees from there. And we had this from our employees. They said, hey, they're making me do what we do not agree Not on the one money. we they agreed so for. So we addressed that a few times. They didn't change it. Then we had to pull our employees back. From that so company. From that company. And we yeah, really, that's, that, that's a good way to look at it, because really, uh, we love, uh, and when you go back to American culture, we, we are multi people in this country. We love new people to be uh, welcome to the United States, to be welcome to, to work, to build them life in a good way. So I think your company is doing good, and we'd be happy to keep that in our mind and remind ourselves and tell other people about your agents. Yeah. Because we really were concerned to make sure United States. It doesn't matter if it's in Poland, in Boston, it's all America. We need anybody who get to this country to get him right on the right channel. Sometimes we understand when they came back from whatever the background, maybe they don't have the good, the strong system. But here we have to try to organize them. Oh, in, in the way we used to make a joke in Baku, in Africa, they say, if you go to the party, do not dance. Sit down. I know sometimes we're brother and sister, when they get here, they like to get dancing quick. And sometimes they do some mistake. 
and, and, and we hope through this interview, anybody who listens to this interview, to know what you guys are doing is a good job, and we have to promote that better and better. And we hope to, to see you many times. And uh, we have some things coming up, and I already talked to Cindy. Maybe you're going to love to, to be there. We're going to have something in one of the restaurants, Eritrea or Supian restaurant. The reason we have this coming up, just to have like business like you, like Cindy, we're going to be there like relax and even time to try the Supian food because we are, we are idea of the new common of America for the new American to, to be learning from what they came from, what they eat, what they do, and what we know here to teach them. So it's going to be like two way. And I believe in, in that time when it's happened, maybe we'll, we'll let you know too. Yeah, no, I'll be glad. And first of all, sorry, I forgot to say this. Thank you for having me today. And I'll be glad to join that too. And in my case, I've always defined integration as a two-way process. I've never taken it as when you Americans come, we have to go and try to learn the culture here. It's, it's a communication between Both the host right. and, and the newcomers. So you know, they have to know who we are, where we are coming from, what we can offer. The same thing with us, we have to know. Where they came from and what how, they can offer. How they've been living, we have to know. We have a lot to learn from them, of course. But they also have to learn about us because we are here to stay. That's correct. And the, the nice joke, you, you, you just make it to, to tell a lot of people, and I used to tell them, when we get here, we think like tomorrow we're going back. I almost tell them, I don't know about what you say you're going back. But you can visit. I'm not saying do not visit, but we're already here. Yeah. We're already here. So, uh, Damaso, nice to meet you in this program, and I'm happy to see you. And we we'll hope to see you again in the future. So, whatever who watching this show today, it's welcome about for New American. And we have Damaso being here, New American, too, because even if he'd been here 20 years, but he still is a New America. Yeah. Uh, welcome for your company at any time. Uh, can you tell us if somebody want to look for you, what the direction they can take? Uh, so if you're looking for us, uh, the website is called www.newmanersstaffing.com and the phone number is 207-699-8870. Uh, give us a call anytime or visit. A, uh, on the website is another number. I can remember it. Uh, that's the office number. And there's an email where you can reach us at. Uh, my email is damas, D-A-M-A-S, at newmanersstaffing.com. And I want to congratulate you for having this platform. I really appreciate you giving us a platform where we can share no what problem. we're doing. Thank you again, and welcome. We'll see you again another time. All right. Thanks, Mr. Damas. I appreciate See you in the future. Thank uh, you. All right. Thank you.